Hello YouTubers, uh, it's a new uh, multi-band receiver, you know, that I received today. It is uh, the Radio Shack, man, yeah, there's Radio Shack, what is that, 12-795, I think this is like the older realistic DX100, there's an Emerson that I think is extremely similar to these, I think they're basically all the same, just like cosmetic differences, that's my guess. I've seen a number of them sold in other countries with, you know, other names besides Emerson and Radio Shack. Uh, they were made in Japan, apparently, for whoever was willing to uh, pay the price, you know, for uh, for having their name put on it. Uh, I got the box, you know, the styrofoam is in there. I thought it showed the, the model number on the box somewhere, but maybe not. Yeah, my camera, I tell you. It's giving me fits about slow focus at times. Um, there's the coverage and the bands that it has. Uh, doesn't, you know, doesn't go a long ways uh, in, in the shortwave bands. It tops out at 12 megahertz, which is, it's, I mean, it's not bad, but, but still it gets quite a few other things. Some of it's kind of obsolete, like the TV stations, but, you know, some of the rest of it's kind of interesting. I guess it is 12, 12-795 12 is the model number. And, uh, came with the, uh, I think all the original accessories were there. I showed you the manual. Came with the strap, wasn't even on it. I put the strap on. It has the uh, pull-out steel type antenna, which is completely undamaged. That works for, uh, I think that just works for the FM bands, if I remember right. There's the AM directional antenna. Uh, features are really basic. It's got a, yeah, I know, slow to focus again. It's got an AFC. Yeah, maybe if I turn the light on, it might be better. It's got an AFC for uh, when you're listening to FM. Uh, this has a public address deal as well. I haven't dug a mic out to put in to see how that works. I mean, it's it's got a pretty large speaker. I'd say if it's very many wattage output, it's probably pretty loud. I know uh, radio itself, you know, receiver-wise is loud. Main power on and off switch. Volume has tone control. I, lo I love the fact it has a tone control. I'm big on those. Uh, and there's the mic jack. The antenna, this is the original antenna that came with it. It was still taped to the, uh, it was still taped to the bottom of the, uh, styrofoam. I've got it out and using some alligator clips to, uh, my outdoor antenna right now. Got an earphone jack. It's got a nice large speaker. There's your tuning controls. Uh, outside's basically like your coarse tuning. Uh, inside, fine tuning. There's your band selector, and that's about it. I mean, it, it's battery. It'll run off of batteries. It'll run off of a, you know, a, a different nine or twelve volt external source. Uh, I'm running off 110, you know, AC right now. It gives you a lot of, a lot of options, you know, as far as how to run it. A lot of these I see, that, you know, the, the AM antenna is usually broke because everybody wants to use them for a handle. I bought it off of eBay. I got this very inexpensively. Um, it, he didn't, the seller did not show a picture of it out of the box. It was just, you know, a picture of the box, but he said in his description he only used it, I think, like something like three or four times in its life. So, I took a chance, and it, it does look new. I can only find one blemish scratch right here on one of the, one of the front handles, and that's, that's it. Otherwise, this radio is really, really immaculate. I'm on one of the universal time, uh, Time deals right now. Uh, some of these, uh, some of these bands, especially like in the uh, the lower end of the shortwave on this, I'm gonna have a ton of electrical noise at this time of day. I've had, I got electrical noise worse than usual today. I kind of tend, you know, to, I kind of tend to have it bad, you know, around in that 80 meter, you know, 80, 90 meter frame. Anyways, boy, it's super bad today. This is daytime too, so. Oh, 
Oh, getting fat finger syndrome is what I call it. I'm wanting to turn both controls at the same time. There's no, uh, sadly, there's no BFO or anything, so cannot cannot do sideband on these little radios. I say little. Physically, they're not little, but they are a lightweight radio, even though they are large case size. USnews.com, of course, goes in and hacks your computer, destroys the game, try to give you charge of 35 bucks, get you to get your credit card out. Um, somewhere in about 9.5 megahertz right now. Not sure if you can see that very well or not. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little more. Might show up clearer. <laughs> Whispers. Which, if you look up the word whisper, one of the meanings is witchcraft. Sweet talk. Meanwhile, legitimate science is held hostage by imposters, disguising their...
It's like it's uh, a little over 7 megahertz, close to 7.5. The high tech corner, an extra ton commodity. WTO Director General Pascal Lamy has confirmed that the Russian entry is bound to take place by the end of 2011 after 18 years of negotiations. Last fall, Russia resolved questionable problems with the US and the European Union. Since so then, it had been stuck in a dispute with Georgia over Congress low monitoring on South Ossetian and Abkhazian borders. But this lost obstacle has been finally resolved. Chairman of the State Duma Committee on Economic Policy. <laughs> Justin Bieber, 
It's got a friggin' Batmobile. Yes. He's, he's, he ha just, he's got his own Batmobile. That's how you know you've made it in the world, when you can have your own Batmobile. I believe like it's a modified, I think, I think it's a modified Cadillac uh, XT, the CTS, I think. Yeah, pretty much shows pretty much shows this little receiver um i can't really show you the fm i like fm air regular fm and so forth the v it's got vhf and uh wx because uh, where i've got it sitting i can't i can't pull out the telescoping antenna very well and i misspoke earlier i've got this uh i do have this hooked to my outside uh random long wire antenna but i did not have my tuner even turned on i just noticed it was unengaged so this radio, uh, this radio really does well on a random piece of wire with no tuner required, apparently. So, anyways, there you have it. Uh, radio Shack Multiband Portable 12-795. I think it's, I think it's real similar, if not the same thing as uh, what was the realistic? I can't remember if it was called a DX100 or SW100, SWL100. Like I said, there's an Emerson that's real similar to this. I think they're probably all about the same. This is a later, this is a later vintage version. This is probably the last version, you know, sold by Radio Shack. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I, I think I only paid about 20 some bucks for it, you know. So I, uh, I feel like I did. I feel like I did really good on this little radio. Uh, so far, it's been a lot of fun. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wow, this is uh, turned out super long, but. Uh, I think it's time to end it now. Anyway, 262 Operator Paul signing off for now.